Now courgettes are a great summer crop, but if you turn your back for too long, they will soon turn into these beasts, which are marrows. Now, the larger the marrow, the greater its water content, which also means that they'll, they will have less flavor. So I think I've just caught this one at the right time. It's a whopper, but it's gonna be perfect to make some marrow soup with. So what I've done so far is I have chopped up my one onion, so that's already in the pot. And then what I have been doing is peeling, de-seeding and chopping the marrow into chunks. So I'm just finishing that off now. I actually managed to use most of the marrow because you need roughly one kilogram of marrow chunks without the skins and without the seed. So we are nearly there, just this one more bit here. So while I've been getting the onion and the marrow ready, I popped the kettle on to make the vegetable stock. So let's just finish chopping this. I think the kettle is going to boil any minute now. So that's the marrow. Pop that outside. All the um, all the peel and the seedy bits of the marrow can go in the compost bin. So let's get the vegetable stock ready. So you need 450 millilitres of vegetable stocks. And right on cue, the kettle's boiling. So one cube of vegetable stock does 450 millilitres. So you just use your hot water and measure out 450 there. And I use a fork just to mix that all together. So you can actually make the vegetable stock a little bit later on. But I thought I would prepare ahead because even if this gets cold, it will obviously warm up later on when you put it into the mixture. So just make sure the cube has dissolved. Mm, it smells nice already. <laughs> I've not even made the soup yet. Right, so I'm going to put that to one side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the courgette into the pot with the onion and hopefully it will all fit not courgette sorry marrow I keep calling it courgette I actually had my eye on this when it was a courgette and I was going to make a courgette pizza 
but um, obviously I went to Wales for, Wales for a week and I came back and it was humongous. I mean, it's not to worry. Because now we're making marrow soup. And it's like the perfect time of year to make soup. Right, that all fits. Put that back on there. So what I will do now is I'm going to pop the stove back on and I'm going to let the marrow and the onion sweat for a few minutes. Now we want them to soften but we don't want them to colour so you just need to sweat them but that will take a few minutes. Oop. Which one are we here? So let's get that on. Now do that on a low heat because like I said you don't want the, the marrow or the onions to colour at all, you just want them to soften. So I will leave that for a few minutes and give it a stir. So that's softening it up nice now. So the next thing you want to do is you want to add your half a tablespoon of plain flour. So just sprinkle that over and then mix it in. And then you want to get your 450 millilitres of milk and pour that into the pot as well. About that. So give it a good stir again. And then while we're here, you just want to add the rest of the ingredients. So that is the vegetable stock, the 450 millilitres of vegetable stock. Oh, it's just going to fit in. Perfect. And then you also want to add a pinch of nutmeg if I can just find it it's here all along so I'm just gonna guess this but you just want a pinch worth oh the lid's still on I think I need to go back to bed not with it today. So just a small bit of nutmeg. And then mix that all together. So what I do is I'll put the heat up a little bit because we want to bring that to a simmer and once it's simmering we want to leave it for about 20 minutes or until the, the marrow, not the courgette, the marrow is completely soft and then once that's all done we can blend it with a hand blender and then hopefully eat it. Tidy up a bit. And maybe get some weeding done because the weeds keep growing.
So that's had 20 minutes now. And you can test if the marrow has softened nicely by just using your spoon or spatula and mashing it against the side of the pan. And that's really nice and soft. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave the heat on. Actually, I'll turn it off, save on gas things. I nearly ran out earlier. I had to go and get some more gas. So take this off the heat and then get your hand blender and then just blend up the marrow. So it's nice and smooth. I'll just be careful because it might spit out and obviously it's still hot and you can make this as smooth or as chunky as you like. I like my soups quite smooth so I'm going to do it until all the marrow is, um, has been chopped up by the blender. nice and smooth now Pop this. actually I'll take this off now I'm going to put it back on the heat just to heat it up gently again it shouldn't take too long to obviously heat up again so pop it back on there and then pop the lid back on. Like I said, it shouldn't take too long to heat back up, but we just want it nice and hot. And then we can have it for lunch. I have to call my dad over because he's absolutely starving. And obviously you can season it with salt and pepper as you like. I'll um, probably leave it as it is. I can't wait. I'm absolutely starving. And what better way to make use of all those overgrown courgettes, especially at the end of the season. And especially in autumn when it starts to get a bit colder and you just want to sit down and have a nice warming bowl of soup. So that's bubbling nicely. I think I'm going to serve it up. So I'm going to put it into some bowls and then call my dad over from his allotment because he's been waiting for this soup for quite a while. Oh, no. Very nice. 